So how did you hear about Starfish Asia? Yeah, Mike and Kirsten Wakeley came to speak at Millmead, but what really captured my imagination for the starfish philosophy that you can help some people but not everybody was when Scylla Slater ran a 10k in 2014 and she explained the vision of the little boy on the beach with loads of starfish and a man came along and said, oh, you're not, you're not helping many of them as he threw them back one by one. And he said, oh, I'm making a really big difference to these that he was throwing back. So, so I think that's, that's the um, charity's philosophy, really. What made you decide to raise funds specifically for the scholarship fund? Well, the scholarship fund supports um, students going on to O-level, A-level and beyond. It supports a wide variety of courses, vocational and professional. And it might be something like giving a sewing machine to someone so that they can learn to sew and start their own business. Or it might be teaching, midwifery, engineering. One young lady wanted to be a pilot. The list is endless. Uh, some students take loans on so that they can pay the money back and support other students in the future. Uh, the students are all um, have to all work to their potential, so they're carefully chosen. And the heart of these students is to um, have a, a, a hope and a future so that they can lift their families out of poverty and make a positive difference in their society. They don't take these opportunities lightly. They're very highly motivated. What event are you doing and how is the progress going? Yeah, I'm walking, a I'm walking around the Isle of Wight. It should have been with Action Challenge, but it's been postponed so many times due to COVID. I've decided to keep to um, May the 1st and 2nd. We're now going self-supported. Um, I would add at this stage that all, all my personal expenses are covered by us, so any money you give would be going straight to the scholarship fund and, and not to support me in any way. Ferry booked, um, cars going over. I've had a lovely offer from a fellow long distance walker, Fiona Cameron, who wants to walk around with me. So now I'm training two or three times a week, doing a gym session at home, doing roughly 20 miles a week. And the Action Challenge uh, training program suggested that you did back to back days of um, two nearer the time. So I'm doing that on the 15th and 16th of March. And Fiona and I are trying to do a roughly a 40 mile walk over the Easter weekend. Then I'll just keep things ticking away. So uh, wish me luck and I would say what could possibly go wrong?